my name is Carlene and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button below. Today, I will be showing the basics of how to make a conditioner. Conditioners are what we consider emulsions. And an emulsion is two liquids that don't combine that easily. So for example, think of oil and water. And today, that's exactly what we're gonna use in our conditioner. All the ingredients and equipment used in this video will be linked below in the comments. And if you're interested in seeing the process of how conditioner is made, stay tuned. Today I will be showing how a basic conditioner is made. When making cosmetic products, I like to use three phases of ingredients. Phase A, Phase B, and Phase C. Phase A is my water phase. Anything that is water soluble goes into this phase. Phase B is my oil phase, so anything that is soluble in oil will go into this phase. And phase C is my cool down phase, so any ingredients that need to be added at a lower temperature goes into this phase. So now let's get started. I'll first start with phase A. To a heat safe beaker, add distilled water. Then I'll add glycerin and provitamin B for moisture. I'll thoroughly combine these ingredients and then set it off to the side. Now let's work on phase B. To a separate heat safe beaker, I'll add satiro alcohol, which will give us a conditioning texture and help emulsify the mixture. Then I'll add in bentrimonium, which will give our conditioner the conditioning effect. Then I'll add in jojoba oil and shea butter as emollients. Now that phase A and phase B are completed, I'll add them both to a heat source. I added stir bars to phase A and phase B so that the ingredients are thoroughly combined and they don't burn. If you're concerned about accidentally burning phase B, you could also use a double boiling method. We're going to heat both of these over 170 degrees. Once phase A is over 170 degrees and phase B is completely melted, you then want to add phase B to phase A. Then blend these two phases using some form of mixer. I use an overhead lab stir so that it's hands-free, but you can also use an immersion blender. And here I'm just trying to get as much of phase B out of the beaker as I can. So now you just wanna blend this mixture until it cools down. And you'll notice as it cools, the thicker it'll get. So be patient. It may take about 30 minutes to see your conditioner thicken up. Once the combination of phase A and phase B has fully cooled down, you'll see you have a nice thick conditioner. And at this time is when I like to add my preservative, which is phase C. So now we're gonna add an Optifin Plus to preserve our conditioner. I mix in Optifin Plus a little bit with my overhead stirrer, and then I just manually stir it into the conditioner. And there you have it. We have a nice, creamy conditioner. It's not too thick, but it's not too thin. Once you get the hang of making a conditioner like this, and you understand how to make a formula, you can add in all type of ingredients, swap out butters, swap out oils, and just add your own little flair to it. For the full formula of this conditioner, please see my basic conditioner e-download link below. Thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful.